Hello and welcome to the next segment on immigration news and views. My name is David Nachman. I'm an event one of the managing attorneys at NPZ Law Group with our offices here in Ridgewood, New Jersey. As mentioned before, we also have an office in Midtown Manhattan and an affiliated office in Canada. We also have an affiliated office in uh, India, in Mumbai, in India. And um, I'm here today to tell you a little bit about what's going on in the comprehensive immigration reform world. As many of you know, uh, the Senate has introduced um, S-744. It's a comprehensive immigration reform bill. They are presently debating that bill on the House floor of the Senate, probably as I'm uh, making this video for you uh, today. To let you know, several amendments have been introduced. Some of the amendments that have been introduced are uh, what we call poison pill amendments. And they, of course, are made with the expectation that these uh, amendments, if adopted, would make it extremely difficult for the 11 million individuals in the United States who do not have status to be able to get status here, which is one of the propositions or uh, uh, one of the uh, sections, if you will, of the uh, new Comprehensive Immigration Reform Bill. Now, one of the poison pill amendments which has been introduced on the Senate floor has to do with uh, whether or not uh, we're going to be able to meet the border security reporting metrics. And obviously there's a 90% uh, percent metric that's been set forth in S744, but there are some senators who want 100% compliance. Now, unfortunately, we don't know what quote unquote compliance is yet because it's only set forth as a word in the bill. And then the question becomes, can we ever achieve 100% compliance? So these are the difficulties that the Senate is dealing with. However, uh, the bill is, as, a, as I mentioned before, currently being debated. And it's our hope uh, that, of course, it will come out of the Senate um, hope, hopefully unscathed. And what's going on in the House is kind of interesting. It seems like what's happening on the House side is that the House is introducing a comprehensive immigration bill of its own by not the Gang of Eight, but the Gang of Seven, because uh, Congressman Labrador has defected from the Gang of Eight. So it's now, rather than calling it the uh, Gang of Eight, uh, uh, seven, I think we should probably call it, um, as uh, one of my colleagues referred to it, as the Magnificent Seven on the House side. So what we're going to do is we're going to be monitoring this very closely for you. Again, this is uh, David Nachman from the Nachman Fawani Zimocek Law Group in Ridgewood, New Jersey. We hope to be bringing you up-to-date news about the Comprehensive Immigration Reform Bill and how that's going to impact you in the future. Um, on your screens now is our address, our email address, and our telephone number. Please feel free to send us any questions that you might have, and we'll be more than happy to do our best to respond to them. Our services uh, comprise uh, general immigration services for the United States, and we have a Canadian law division which helps individuals to do their immigration up to Canada. Thanks very much for tuning in, and we look forward to keeping you updated. Bye now.